would be like having five different dentures made and only paying for the one that fits you the best. Ah, oh, the nerd fighters! Some of you may not have known this about me, but I'm a graphic designer and I've been working at my local newspaper designing ads for them and whatnot. Here's the deal. Oh, hey Meg. If you're a creative professional, you're probably already aware of this world of contests. At first glance, they kind of seem exciting, like, ooh, I'm gonna be up against all these other creative professionals, I'm gonna show them what's up because my stuff is the best. That just happened recently at my workplace. We got an email saying that there was gonna be a logo design contest amongst all of the creative professionals that this company owns. Do they own us? The email basically said, come up with a logo design, send it in by this date, and we'll check them all out, and we'll pick a winner, and we'll use it for our new venture that we're starting, and the winner will get 150 bucks. So if you're thinking that 100 people doing the same project is a lot, then you're thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. That would be like hiring 20 contractors to build you a house, and then choosing the one you like best and only paying that contractor for their work. That would be like going to a thousand different salons until you find the person who does your hairstyle just right and paying that person for your hairstyle. That would be like paying for 15 different flavors of pizza to decide which one you like and then only paying for the one that you decide you like. That would be like walking into family video and taking out 15 movies to watch and not paying for any of them and then bringing them all back and only paying for the one that you liked the most. That would be like hiring seven and a half different lawyers to plead your case in court until you find the one that gets the judge to say that you're not guilty and only paying that lawyer. So I think you know where I'm going with this. I think that the contests are okay when you're not a creative professional. When you're a kid or like in high school and trying to like make yourself uh, get out there or get your stuff seen. That's fine. Get into contests. They're fun. But when you set up websites, I won't name any names, that their sole purpose is to gather in a bunch of different graphic designers or other creative professionals to all insert um, their project for your one project and then only paying the one that you like the most. I think it's objectively demeaning um, and devaluing to the job of creative professionals. I see how it's okay for the higher-ups in our company to say um, all of you make a design and we'll pick the best and give you 150 bucks because at least they're giving a reward of some kind. Since we're in an employment contract, they could technically just make us do it and not pay anything to anyone. But if, the, if you're trying to set up a contest Cat tail. If you're trying to set up a contest outside of an employment contract and only paying one person for their job, that's just not cool. Anyway, those are my thoughts. If you think differently than me, tell me why. And let's talk about it because maybe I'm completely wrong. I could be completely misled. Maybe contests are really awesome. If you tell me the reason why, then but then I'll, I'll know the reason why. Okay, bye guys. DFTBA and Nathan, I'll see you tomorrow. If you are a creative professional, you're probably already aware of the water of the water.